Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about Tesla and why must Tesla succeed. Let's roll it. The biggest problem the world has right now is the amount of CO and CO2 in the atmosphere. This causes global warming, extreme weather conditions and plenty of health issues. Health issues including cancer and heart diseases. Cancer and heart diseases make up of 60% of the death right now. That means for every two person out there, there's a high chance that you will die of either. You see, 87% of carbon dioxide is produced by burning of fossil fuel, natural gas and coal. The largest source of carbon dioxide emissions come from burning fossil fuels. This is where Tesla comes in and solves a very very big problem dominated by these big players for so many years. Tesla makes electric cars, solar panels and energy storage solutions disrupting many many traditional big companies. So this is Tesla in 2019 explained. Since the introduction of the Model S in 2012, Tesla's first mass production vehicle to today there is no competition despite many claims at Tesla killers. The Jaguar I-Pace and the Audi e-tron, Tesla's closest competition to today is a freaking joke. A 2012 Model S goes further and faster than these donkeys. By the way, the e-tron in French stands for shit. Tesla's latest mass production vehicle, the Model 3, outsold every car by revenue in the US and is the best selling car in many regions. For example, in Germany, the king of big auto, they outsold every brand, including German brands. The latest Model S long range goes 370 miles per charge and that leaves every single auto brand in the dust. You cannot drive 370 miles non-stop. Why does buying a Tesla make sense? Let's take a look at Cost. In the Model 3 segment, includes cars like the BMW 3 Series, Audi A4 and the Mercedes C-Class and they cost roughly the same. However, the cost of a Model 3 ownership over the next 5 years is less than the Toyota Camry because no servicing is needed. The electric car doesn't have much moving parts. The electric motor lasts for a million miles. The only thing that may need servicing is the air filter, the change of tyres and the change of brake pads once every 6 years. One more thing that brings the cost way down is the cost of electricity is way cheaper than fossil fuels. This is the second practical point of view. When you want to buy a vehicle, you want a vehicle to be very safe. There are accidents happening every single second. The Model 3 is the safest car in the world, period. Because there is no engine at the front or at the rear, when there is a huge accident, there's plenty of crumple zone to crumple in to protect the occupants. And it is also safer because it is less likely to burst in flames. Ice cars, internal combustion engine, has a much higher probability to burst into flames because the name says itself, internal combustion engine. A very good example to that is everybody has a mobile device now and imagine your mobile device is powered by petrol. That would be one of the dumbest thing ever. There are many death cases related to people accidentally leaving their engine on, killing themselves. The gases that come out of the engine doesn't disappear, it just dilutes into the atmosphere. And there's this example where this guy accidentally left his engine running in the garage. The gas produced by the car filled the entire house and killed his family. I want to cover this argument about hydrogen and fuel cell technology. It takes massive amount of electricity to produce hydrogen and thereafter the hydrogen needs to be transferred to the car and where the car now needs to convert the hydrogen into electricity to power the electric motors. Why not just directly use the electricity to power the electric motors? I want to wrap this up quickly. Tesla must succeed and they are having a really hard time because they are disrupting major industries like oil, car manufacturing, auto dealerships, utility companies and the list goes on and because they are disrupting many many old traditional industries, they are being attacked from a lot of angles. These old industries are paying the media a lot a lot of money to create massive fake news about Tesla. So let's help Tesla and Elon Musk and one of the ways is to smash that like button down there because when you smash it, this helps push the video out to more people to spread this message. Remember to subscribe to my channel and on that notification bell so you get my latest videos. Thank you for watching and I'll leave you with this one last note from Elon Musk. It's tautological. We must have a sustainable energy transport and energy infrastructure in the long term. So we know that's the end point. We know that. So why run this crazy experiment 
where we take trillions of tons of carbon from underground and put it in the atmosphere and oceans. This is an insane experiment. It's the dumbest experiment in, in human history.